Solo Leveling Arise, the brand new game, got a early launch in Canada and Thailand, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get it for PC, and then after that, I'll talk about mobile as well. I hope you guys enjoy. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. I would greatly appreciate it as we are aiming for 1,000 subscribers here on the channel, and if you're interested in content for this game, you definitely want to subscribe because I'm going to be doing a ton of different guides and gameplay videos and stuff also over on Twitch, which is linked down below in the description. All right, guys, if anybody has any problems, please leave a comment, and uh, I will try to help you out as well. But I'm not tech support. I'll just give you the best that I can. So the first thing I want to say is for the PC method, uh, I'm not sure if you can connect to this site for the Solo Leveling Arise official website unless uh, unless you're in like unless you're in Thailand or, or Canada, maybe it'll work for you as well. But uh, anyway, unless you're in one of those locations, I don't know if it'll show you the actual download without a VPN. So as you can see, I am connected to a uh, Thailand VPN currently through Surfshark. Now, there are free alternatives for VPNs that you can download and use on your PC. That's kind of up to you, though. I'm not really the most versed in that. I like Surfshark personally for my own use, but they were a paid service. Now, they may have a free alternative or something like that, but nonetheless, it does work for me from here. So it's a little bit slow, unfortunately, not as fast as I would like, uh, but on the official site, we can actually now do the downloads. So that's what we're going to do. It appears like it's not actually on uh, PC or um, Android yet. It looked like that button wasn't clickable, but I know of a way to get it for Android. So don't worry about it. <laughs> We're going to do that in a minute. So it is going. It just officially started the download. So the general look at this is it's going to have a Netmarble installer. And then from there, it's going to um, give you the, the walkthrough for the entirety of the install for Soul Leveling Rise. And then it'll work like normal after that. So we're going to get to this in a moment once it's officially done downloading. And upon it opening the uh, download installer, it looks like there's another one to open here. And it looks like this process is working as intended. So if it wasn't clear, all I did was turn on my VPN to Thailand and Google the official solo leveling website. I don't know if you can go to their website outside of having a VPN and still get to the Thailand page. I don't think you can, but this TH is for Thailand. If I were to change this to like US, it would show the English version, things like that for the different regions. So maybe you can actually just go ahead and change this uh, this URL to th slash PC play and it would work with you, but probably not, right? In the meantime, we are here on my phone and I did things a little bit differently. So here is what I did. On the Play Store officially, I went through and created a brand new Google Play account. And when I did this account, I set it up for it being able to be used in the... Um, Thailand region, excuse me. So this one was set up with Thailand. So I wasn't sure if it was Canada or Thailand. I set it up in Thailand. The reason why was because Canada wasn't seemingly working for me. Uh, but as I did that, the official app was just there to download. So keep that in mind. I created an account and I set it up that way. Now you can also, if you have an existing one, I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it. But if you have an existing account, you can click the settings button go to general here and then account and device preferences at the very top and then what will happen is it'll ask you to change your region and you can only do that once every 365 days there's also another method where you hit this button and you go into payment and subscriptions and then you add or change your payment methods and then it will again also give you the option to change your location and it'll change it to 365 now uh, it'll allow you to change it once every 365 now also if you're not in these regions once again, you are needing a VPN. So when you create this account or when you change your account's region, you will need a VPN to connect officially to the store. And for that, I would just probably recommend TunnelBear. Uh, that would work for you. So just search up TunnelBear or any other free VPN and connect it to Thailand. Now, the good news is apparently the game is available to download just as an APK, which is not unexpected. So you can actually just download the application through a site like TapTap. So that's what I have here. I have pulled up TapTap Tap and uh, it's available to download on here and you can do that as well. The APK is officially here. Now you can also probably just download an APK online and then obviously get started. Now another big question is we've talked a lot about VPNs throughout the video and whether or not you will need a VPN at the time of playing the game. And I haven't been able to confirm for the PC yet because that was actually downloading right now and it's just taking a while to install and I'll get back to that later. But for the 
the mobile version, you do not need a VPN to play the game. You can play without it. So simply downloading the application and then installing it on your phone or whatever device will suffice and you will be able to get it done that way. Now, I talked about PC, I talked about VPNs, all that stuff, yada yada. There's also, uh, by the way, there are also other alternatives to TapTap. -tap. You don't have to use this. It's probably also on QApp or a couple other things. You can honestly probably just download it. If you feel comfortable, you could probably just Google Solo Leveling Arise APK download. Dude, be careful with that. But if you feel comfortable, you could probably do that. Um, but nonetheless, uh, dude, don't blame me if anything else happens. But nonetheless, it's generally a safe process. Anyway, moving on. So other than that, though, you can also download it and install it on other emulators like um, Bluestacks or, or Knox or whatever the case is. And the process for that is going to be kind of similar to what I mentioned earlier. You can download it officially through this, or not officially, I guess, but as a separate application through this, like tap tap stuff like that. You can also do the thing that I did, where you change your your region if you want to do that. That's honestly. That was more of a feasible method to download the application, the method that I just showed you about changing your, your Play Store account. That was more feasible before the official APK got put on sites like this. Now I really honestly don't see much of a reason to do that. Now if you notice, I haven't talked much about iOS, uh, because iOS should just flat out have it. Now in terms of iOS, it's a little bit different. You don't need a VPN for basically anything there if I recall correctly. I haven't had a phone for a couple of years now. But if I recall correctly, you just need to log in and change your region, and then it will, in fact, I used to do this all the time, and then it will allow for you to log into their region store, no matter where you're at. You just have to have a actual address, and it's not hard. What you want to do, if you're on iOS and you need an address to put in, you can just down or go to a website for fake addresses and then kind of put that in. Maybe take a note of it so you know in the future, but that's basically it. You should be able to change it without having any sort of payment method added as well. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Now we transitioned over to something like Bluestacks. I'm not really going to install it, but I will walk you through it here, generally speaking. The process is basically the exact same, like I said, though. You will download TapTap, download QApp over there, install it on there, and then download the application through a site like that. You also, again, can get on the browser and download it like that, then install it into your into your emulator that way. Now, in terms of that, that is also another viable way to play on PC, but the reason you're gonna wanna do my PC installer, let's go ahead and cycle back over there. The reason you're going to want to do the PC installer method, see, it's, it's going now. So yeah, my method does work like I was thinking about. Now, I can't confirm if I'll need a VPN the entire time I play. I hope not, <laughs> but we'll see. But yeah, the reason you will want to do this is because this is obviously the real PC version. The version that you would get through something like Bluestacks is just an emulated version of an Android version. That's it. So what had happened is you'd have the increased graphics, all that stuff obviously working on PC and get the full PC experience, right? But I don't want to downshoot, uh, tap, uh, not tap, tap, excuse me. I don't want to talk too bad about uh, an emulator because you can still map the keys on your keyboard and stuff like that and be pretty successful. Now I am going to uh, just kind of pause from here while this goes and we'll see what happens. While waiting for this, I did also confirm apparently that the iOS version is not available on Canada right now, only the Google Play and PC. So I, I didn't know this initially because like I said, I don't really have it. So you will need to change, if you're on iOS, you will need to change to Thailand apparently if you want to download it right now because it's not in the App Store. You'll need to change. So according to them, uh, as far as I know, that's how that looks. Also, this is not a beta. This is an early access release and they also note Okay, I guess it's going to the installer now. <laughs> okay, they also noted that uh, the progress that you made is not going to get deleted. That's what I was going to show you. <laughs> Game progress made during during early access will not be reset. Owners participating in early access continue playing the game even after early access ends. And the early access schedule may be subject to change. If you are participating in early access, you will receive pre-registration rewards without pre-registering. Registration rewards cannot be obtained multiple times from the same Google Play Store and App Store, and any changes related to early access will be notified through this uh, notice as well. So the way it looks, by the way, is that they are going to be launching the game, I believe, on May, May, early May, uh, somewhere in May. I forgot the ex actual date, but it's, if you're not in one of these regions and you don't want to do the tricks I've showed you throughout the video, it'll be coming out in May. But apparently you can play now, and I will be playing now. The only downside to playing now is that you're gonna be on a separate server than people that start in a couple months. So you may not wanna go too hard. I assume the game will have purchases and stuff because it's actually officially out now, technically. 
I assume it'll have purchases and stuff, so maybe you don't want to do that if you plan on potentially restarting. So it's taking a little bit of time, but it does appear that I've got it fully up and running. I've just got to wait for it to go. And by the way, that was just to get the thing installed. I've now got to, I've now got to download based on my phone anyway, because I did the process on my phone. Now I got to download about another, uh, I don't know, five gigabytes or something like that. So we'll see what happens. So this will probably take a while. It was taking extremely long, so I turned off my VPN at this point. So now is the moment of truth. If it lets me download, then I should be good to go. Um, I was going to sign it as a guest. Apparently, that option is not available on the PC client. So let me do this really quick. It didn't want to let me sign in with Google, but I did choose to sign in with email option. And it appears to be working fine. Again, I don't have my VPN on. I am totally disconnected. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see what happens. But... I am completely disconnected and it looks like it's working fine and I will let you know in a moment. All right, it's officially downloaded and let's see what happens. It looks like it's working though. It, it, I mean, the phone one works without VPNs. So I wouldn't be surprised if this one doesn't obviously. Well, um, let's see if we can turn on the audio as well here. Has downloaded another patch yeah, after it finished downloading. That's amazing. That's amazing. Let me in! I guess it's a good chance to promote that. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, also, the link's down below in the description so you guys can keep up with my content for the game. All right, so there is a baseline that it needs to download in order to show you this little prologue here. I still can't believe... So it'll start this before it's actually even finished doing the download to let you play. The portals that connect our world to the other dimension. Are I'll gone. skip this, however. I've already seen it. It's actually pretty nice, though. But it's still not done downloading, as you see in the bottom corner. Going to have to catch up. But since we're here, it does appear that it works. Yeah, I have too many processes running on my PC right now because this is brutal. So I'm going to have to end this recorder and figure out what's going on with this. But nonetheless, it works. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you all next time, guys.